Welcome guys to my uh, channel and uh, for this session of code discovery. I will be playing with some code that manipulates a uh, no-led display uh, using an Arduino Uno uh, microcontroller. So all the code I'm going to show you will be available on this website. Uh, this is my code repository and the link is available in the video description. Um, first of all, I'm using uh, VS Code to do all my uh, programming projects on Arduino. Uh, it's, um, it's different than the uh, Arduino ID that uh, everyone knows, uh, but I find VS Code more powerful to do programming. And if you're interested, uh, I have a video on my channel showing uh, how to set it up for Arduino programming. Uh, the link is also available in the uh, video description. Um, the code I'm going to show you is uh, to display some images on uh, OLED display. And the OLED display that I'm using is a very small OLED display, a monochrome uh, display that is uh, uh, 128 pixels in width and 64 pixels in height. Uh, it's uh, around uh, maybe a little less than one inch in size and it requires only four wires to connect to the Arduino Uno that I'm using uh, to, uh, to program it. Um, the drawback is that it's an I2C uh, communication uh, display, so it's not very fast. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's useful anyway. Um, I'm using the Adafruit uh, SH110X library to drive this uh, OLED display. And I'm also using the Adafruit JFX library that includes some, uh, some functions uh, to draw pixels, rectangles, round rectangles like you see here on the screen. Uh, you can display circles, etc. And I wrote some uh, some other functions uh, that I find useful for my uh, own project uh, that are not available in the Adafruit GFX library. Uh, mostly, these are functions that draws uh, uh, objects centered on the screen. So I wrote a function that is called display rect centered. Uh, you provide the width of the rectangle, the height of the rectangle in pixels, and it draws uh, the rectangle on the OLED display starting from the center of the screen. So I'm just uploading the code and you will see uh, displayed uh, on the screen uh, a, a simple rectangle centered uh, on the OLED display. I have also added a, a function that draws a horizontal line, again, centered on the screen. You just have to provide it with the length of the line and the color of the line, and it will show the line, uh, the horizontal line, centered uh, on the screen. This one is uh, 50 pixels in length. And this is a bit misleading here on the video. You can see that the lines, uh, the line uh, seems a little seems th thick and actually it's not thick it's one pixel in uh, width but uh, the video is a little bit misleading uh, as it shows here on the, on, on the camera. Uh, I have also a functions that display a vertical line again centered uh, in the uh, OLED display. Uh, you just have to provide the length of the line and the color of the line. And this one is 20 pixels uh, in length. So it displays a vertical line centered on the OLED display. And by the way here, you, you have to provide the color, but not for this one. Uh, if we look at the code, um, let's see where is it, this one. Uh, you can, but it displays always a, a white uh, rectangle, but you can change the code and add 
uh, to the function, a parameter to pass the color as with this one. If we look at the uh, horizontal line, here I'm passing the color of the horizontal line in the parameter and I'm using it to display, to draw the line center on the screen. So you can modify the code if you want to, uh, um, to pass the color uh, in the function. Um, so I, I also have a function to draw a circle centered on the screen. And you just have to pass the, uh, the size of the circle and the color of the circle. And it will draw it centered uh, again on the screen, like you see here. Same thing for another object, a rectangle with round corners. Uh, again, you uh, specify the width of the rectangle, the height of the rectangle, and it will display a white rectangle centered on the screen. Let's upload the code and see how it looks. Now, again, I'm using a monochrome display, so I don't have the choice of color. I, I, I just have a choice of white or black color. So in order to center things on the OLED display, um, I'm making use of a global variable that is called screen center X and screen center Y. They are defined at the top of the, um, of the file, just under the, um, the screen width and the screen height definition. I've just calculated uh, where is the pixel on the X axis and the Y axis and I reuse these variables uh, in all my uh, functions that center things on the OLED display. For example, the rectangle. Here I'm reusing them to calculate the center of the rectangle. Same thing for a circle. I'm reusing the same variables to center a circle uh, on the OLED display. Uh, now I have a very useful functions to display noise. Um, on the OLED display. And this one is a little bit different. Uh, you, uh, you provide the density of the noise that you want to show on the screen. Uh, either uh, if you want the noise to accumulate or don't accumulate, we will see an example. And the duration of the, uh, the noise that is displayed on the screen. In that case, I'm displaying noise for five 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So let's upload the code and uh, and uh, look uh, what it looks like uh, on the OLED display actually. So you see it draws many pixels uh, randomly on the screens and it will show for five seconds. It will stop and restart again since it is in the loop uh, in the loop function, the main loop function of the Arduino code. So if we want to the noise to accumulate, we pass true to the functions. And instead of uh, clearing the screen after displaying some noise, it will accumulate on the screen and eventually it will show a white screen on the OLED display, like so. So let's look at the code, this one. So um, it's drawing random pixels. I'm using the random functions that is native to the uh, Arduino uh, library to draw pixels on the screen. And I'm using a duration uh, function to play the animation during some time. So I have two helper function. I have a, an init timer function and a duration functions so that it's very easy to, uh, to start a timer and write a loop that will execute during the time that is provided. Here it's, it's passed into the, the display noise pixelated function. 
if we if we look at the, the call of the display noise pixelated function we pass it 5000 milliseconds so this loop will loop during 5000 milliseconds and the way it's done is uh, i'm using the init timer functions to store the duration and the actual time uh, using the function millis that is native to uh, the Arduino library. So this init timer will store the duration, the actual time, and the duration function, uh, which is returning a, a, a Boolean. So true if uh, the duration is not uh, yet uh, expired, of, or true if uh, the duration has expired. So it compares the time, the actual time, with uh, the uh, the time that was stored initially in the init timer functions. So if we look again at the loop, we init the timer with the duration, 5,000 5, millisecond in that case. We loop and we do our thing uh, during the, the, the duration of the time. And this function will, will return false once we have achieved a duration of 5,000 milliseconds or uh, five seconds. So that's uh, that's a uh, nice functions. Let's go again up uh, in the code. So I have also um, a function that I wrote to display kind of uh, images that I call the sector. Uh, this is for my uh, projects. Uh, I'm building a Star Wars uh, panel uh, control project and it will have this little display, this little OLED display in the panel. And I'm displaying kind of a sector with quadrant and some uh, object that are being located uh, on the screen and and the uh, the functions again it it's it makes use of the duration uh, the duration uh, functions that I've shown you so we pass the duration of the function and the quadrant here in that case where I want to display uh, the little blip that we see on what we could call what we could call the a, a radar of some kind I can change the uh, the quadrant where the blip is displayed let's say we want it in the second quadrant i'm load, uploading the code and it will show the blip in the second quadrant so if we look at the code of the display sector function this one so it's uh, it's very simple it's drawing uh, this uh, this kind of uh, circles and again uh, you see the usefulness of the uh, the function i showed you at the uh, at the start of the uh, of the video regarding a centering object on the screen so i'm centering circles uh, a horizontal line a vertical line so i'm displaying that and I'm using again the duration function to uh, animate the blip that we see in the quadrant. So to do the animation, it's done during the duration function. It's a while loop. We draw a circle in white, and after some delay, we draw uh, an exact same circle uh, centered on the screen, but this time in black. So it's uh, it's uh, blinking on the OLED display. And after, uh, I have two kind of animation. I have a kind of circle that is, uh, you don't see it well on the screen, but yeah, th this one, it's, it's a circle that is expanding of the quadrant, this function. And after some time, it's just the blip that is shown uh, on the screen. And the blip is actually a very small circle. So it shows you the uh, how we can use the uh, the duration functions to animate things uh, in your code.
And you can you could use also the animation functions, not the animation function, but the duration functions to animate other things than uh, displaying like uh, I'm showing you uh, objects on an OLED display. You could, uh, for example, animate LEDs uh, LEDs on uh, on your uh, on your project. Okay, and the last function is a function that displays what I called a target. Um, again, I'm using the uh, duration uh, functions. I'm passing 5,000 milliseconds, so five, five seconds, and I'm displaying a kind of target with a little animation at the center uh, that you will see in a few seconds, like this. So if we look at the function, display target, this one. So it's first it's drawing all the lines that you see on the OLED display. And again, in a while loop, I'm using the duration function to animate the center of the target. So it's uh, just a, a circle that is centered uh, on the screen, a uh, horizontal line centered, a vertical line centered, and I alternate the color of uh, the objects switching between white and black during the animation time. So it's the, the, uh, the duration functions you can use to animate things on the OLED display by switching colors between black and white in that case, because when you use black, it kind of erases the object that you are showing. I also have some uh, screen, string functions to, dis to display strings on the screen. And since I'm building a Star Wars control panel, I'm using the Orobesh language, which is a kind of a Star Wars uh, language to display strings on the OLED display. So in that case, I will display this as a test in the Orobesh language. And I'm also using some scrolling uh, functions uh, so that the uh, the text is scrolling from bottom to top like you can see on the screen and you don't see very well the Orobesh characters. Um, I also have a, a function that is called complex Orobesh. Again, I'm using the duration functions. So I'm displaying some uh, random Orobesh character on the screen at a speed of 25 milliseconds. So it's displaying randomly anywhere on the screen or rubbish characters, like so. And finally, I'm displaying all these sequences randomly um, so that my panel will have the OLED display showing all the sequences randomly and having some complexity uh, in the panel. So, uh, and I have a, a kind of a function that is doing a transition between sequences and the transition function is very simple. It's drawing lines from the center going uh, outwards to the border of the screen and at the same time erasing the screen uh, as it goes uh, to the border. So I hope you uh, find uh, this uh, little uh, co-discovery session useful. Uh, again, you can go to my website, use the link in the video description to get the code and play with it. And here you have the uh, Orebesh header file that you will need to be to be able to uh, display uh, Orebesh characters on your OLED display.